the FAA is giving you all of this stuff that your examiner is going to ask you right there. He's going to be four four five eight ten three thousand and uh, contact with the seven left five foot takeoff. Hello aviators, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ty Jones, your Aero Nerd, and I just wanted to have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with all the pilots that are about to do their check ride. And we're about to take off the masks for this one because I want everybody to just bring it on in. This is gonna be a heart-to-heart -heart discussion. So no hurt feelings, bring it on in. Bring it on in, bring it on in, bring it on in. So you're studying to be a private pilot. You're studying to be an instrument pilot. You're studying to be a commercial pilot. You're studying to be a CFI. You're studying to be an airline pilot. Yet, you're not really comfortable on the check ride. Yet, you're not really comfortable with that stage check. Why? The resources are right in front of you. They're being handed to you on a silver platter. But yet you're struggling. Why? So this is not going to be more of an instructional video. I actually want to hear your feedback based off of what your instructor told you and why you're struggling. Because it's hard for me to understand where the trouble is coming from. Uh, for example, we have the far aim. I posted a video earlier, um, and I'll put the link up above, so to make your check ride easy, and there it is above, so you can echo, go ahead and check that out. Um, but in the very beginning, let's say for flight instructors, for example, we have a suggested study list um, for you that's in the FAR AIM, right? Now, this suggested study list is an FAA recommended study list. Why would you? Why on earth would you want to go by this? suggested study list well for one it's an FAA test for two you're being you're going to be examined by an FAA examiner and he's going to be asking you FAA questions so why would you not go to the FAA's suggested study list and in study what they recommend wouldn't that not make sense so the question is why What's going on? Is your instructor not giving you all the information? Um, are your study habits not in not really the way they should be? What's going on? What is the problem here? This is a video that I it's not really an instructional video per se. It's more of a your feedback to be able to explain to me what's going on. Well, I'm struggling because of this. Um, I don't really understand weather. I don't know where to find this information. I've searched on YouTube. I've asked my flight instructor. I'm just not getting it. Um, this is this is the video where the comments below is going to be more important than the actual video itself. I want to put this video together to maybe shed some light on some of those that are struggling because I really want you to be successful. I want you to succeed. And I also want you to realize that the FAA is literally handing this information to you on a silver platter, starting with the far aim. So it's 2020. So oh, I just dropped something. So for 2020, this is the far aim. In the very beginning of the far aim, you're going to have a suggested study list, which is mirrors the pilot's bill of rights. Make sure you know about that before you check right. Um, let's go to, uh, no, that's sorry. There it is, suggested study list. So I want to put this up here for you guys. Suggested study list. This is for sport pilot, obviously. I'm going to go to the uh, next page, which is for if I can, if I can actually turn the page here. There we go. There it is. So for you private pilots out there, private pilot, recreational. Moving down here, here's instrument for, uh, pilots, for all you instrument pilots out there. Next is commercial, and then you have your flight instructors, and of course then you have your ATP. So, going back to private, 
This is every single thing that the FAA is recommending for you to study. For your instrument pilots, this is what the FAA is telling you, you, to study. For your commercial pilots out there, commercial, this is what the FAA is telling you to study. And it's, of course, the same with flight instructors. With that being said, I'm going to fast forward a little bit to the flight instructors. Now, for the private pilots, for the commercial pilots, for the instrument pilots, for, for the, all the other pilots, you can still use the same mentality that I'm gonna show you, okay? So I'm actually going to go to, this is my personal uh, FAR AIM, okay, that I use for my flight instructor um, uh, check ride. So, this is what I did, okay? Go line by line. Okay, so flight instructor, if you want to follow along, get your 2020 FAR AIM and follow along with me for the flight instructors. Okay, I'm just going for flight instructors. Again, the private pilots, the instrument pilots, the commercial pilots, you can also follow along too, but I just want to show you an example of where I'm coming from. So, for the flight instructor, I have, um, I got part one, I got 1.1, 1.2, then it goes to part um, 23. It goes 23, part 2005, and then it goes into part 61. It goes all the way to part 61. Then it goes to part 71, then it goes into part 91, and then blah, 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 it goes into the aim and so on and so forth. So here's where I recommend you do, no matter what rating you're going for, follow this method, please. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. I'm actually gonna switch my eyes to my other camera here because I don't know what you guys are looking at right now. All right, so flight instructor. Obviously, I'm a flight instructor, so this is what I did for my um, uh, uh, my check ride. Or I'm sorry, not my check ride. This is what I did for my studying. If you notice, looking down here, this is I actually studied this in order. I didn't go from weather to um, I didn't go from weather to um, airspaces, to um, navigation, to systems, and then back to weather. Like, you, you're, your studying habits are all over the place. Yet, if you go by this, this is a nice structuralized uh, study method that you can use. So, study 61.3. Once you understand and read 61.3, look up YouTube videos or whatever you gotta do for 61.3. Once you understand 61.3, then hey, check it off by writing a small little script in there of what that what that's about. Then, now that you know what 61.3 is, then move down to 61.13. Then once you've looked at what 61.13 is, once you understand it, then write a little um, title in there of what 61.13 is to you. Then 61.15, it's about, I have in here alcohol. 61.19, I have privileges. 61.23, I have medical certificates. 61.31, and then it goes all the way down. Use this to your advantage. This is not only flight instructor. This is for every single thing. You can use this for a uh, commercial. You can use this for a flight engineer. You can use this for in, um, uh, instrument uh, pilots. You can use this for private pilots. My point is, once you have every once you have something labeled in every single one, this is literally a uh, you can actually use this as a as a checkpoint for you. It's like okay, I've I've note I got all part sixty one, then I got part seventy one, then I got part ninety one. I I can I can actually track where my studying is. I know exactly all the stuff in part sixty one. Now I can move on. Rather than you being studying, okay, I got weather, now I'm gonna study airspaces. Now I'm gonna study IFR. Now I'm gonna study um, aircraft systems. Now I'm gonna study privileges. Now I'm gonna study, you're all over the place. Of course it's gonna be hard to study all of this stuff because especially for private pilots, this is gonna be something that, this is the first time you're gonna be introduced to this stuff. Private pilot, in my opinion, is the most hardest rating to learn and to, and to grasp. Why? Because you're gonna have absolutely no flight experience. 
You're gonna have no pilot previous experience or no pilot knowledge whatsoever. You're learning this stuff for the very first time, so why not take advantage of what the FDA is telling you to study? Another thing that I wanna mention, please read this at least one time before you throw it away. This comes with every Cessna POH. Uh, uh, read this before you throw it away, please. There's a lot of useful information in here. And again, I'm gonna put my video up here again to make sure that you understand the importance of this little bit. And look, oh my gosh, it's a huge book, right? It's, no, it's not. It's a very thin book. It has a lot of great information in this. So please read through this cover to cover before you throw this away. Please, if you open it up to any little page, let's say this one, for example. Okay, this one, for example, all you gotta do is, okay, look at this. It talks about weather, okay? Let, let me go ahead and zoom in here for a little bit. Weather, here's all of the possible questions that your examiner, your DPE is gonna be asking you about. If you are unfamiliar with these uh, uh, with these subjects, then look at what the FAA does for you. It clearly puts it right up here for you. You got the PHAC. It has a uh, advisor circular 00-6, advisor circular 00-45. I believe it's H uh, Hotel. Um, that's the most current one right, um, right about now. But the FAA is giving you all of this stuff that your examiner is going to ask you right there yeah but you know what that that's good and dandy and all but what about systems i'm really weak on systems the faa doesn't say anything about systems the poh look at chapter seven it's all right there Every single thing that the examiner is going to ask you about is already provided for you, handed to you on a silver platter. Now it's up to you to be able to generate any kind of study habits that you have. Um, now let's say that you're not really a, a, a reader. You know, I, I read this information and that's all it is, is information. I can't read information. I have to read pictures. I'm a visual person, right? I myself is a visual person. So what do I do? YouTube, that's exactly what you're doing right now. So use the resources that you are submerged in for your advantage. And lastly, before I go, I wanna give you one more thing. There is one book out there that is very valuable to all pilots, whether if it's your, whether if you're studying for private, instrument, commercial, CFI, ATP, it doesn't matter. There's one book that the ACS will refer you to every single, well, I don't know, maybe not every single time, but most of the time, you really need to be familiar with the BAC. Now I understand that this is an older version. I don't really have the newer version because I didn't buy it because I can get it for free online. But look up the PHAC, the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. Make sure you review every single chapter on here because there is so much saturated amount of information on there with, with colorful pictures, with examples. And still, if you don't understand some of the things that are in there, that's what YouTube is for. That's why you're here. So use your resources that's available to you. Now, getting your, getting your ratings maybe 10, 20 years ago, we didn't have this amazing YouTube resource. We didn't have all these resources. So could you imagine the pilots that were trying to get their, get their ratings way back then? I guarantee you, they're so, I don't wanna use the word jealous, but they're probably hating right now. It's like, well, back in my day, we didn't have this. We still use the old fashioned E6B. Hold on. We still were using this thing. I don't know. There's a lot of people, private pilots, that don't even know to use this thing because they got their own 
electric electronic version or they got their cell phone or they got their watch there's probably an app a e6b for your watch nowadays that can do all the calculations that this thing can do so my point is you are surrounded you are submerged with resources that can help you use those resources when you are done looking at those resources when you are about to take your check ride when you have completed all the stage checks for my 141 pilots you have completed every single flight and you're about to check your take your check ride for my 61 pilots that's when i challenge you to look at the michael hayes selection all of these books this is the time to really check yourself whether if you're a commercial whether if you're an instrument i'm sorry whether if you're a flight instructor whether if you're a commercial whether you're a uh instrument whether if you're a multi-engine or whether you're an instrument okay whatever i screwed that up but anyway you get my point so use the resources around you and use them to your advantage there's no excuse for you to fail your check ride there's, there's none. None, 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 none. Also, check out the links in the description below. They also provide references that were mentioned in this video, plus more. All right, everybody, so that's it for my video. So hopefully, I'm going to put this mask back on. All right, so hopefully that was a good heart-to-heart -heart discussion with you guys. If you have any comments, concerns, please, I want the comments below this video to be more than this video itself, okay? I wanna see your comments. I wanna be able to, did this video help? If not, what are your struggles? I want to know this as a CFI myself. Let me know how we can help you. If the, if, if the, if the resources that are available to you aren't good enough, let us know. What kind of learner are you? There's, everybody learns differently everybody teaches differently what can we do to help you we want you to be successful as cfis as certified flight instructors that's our job let us know how we can help you let me know as your error nerd how i can help you with that being said as always keep flying keep learning and always have fun i'll see you guys next time